Senator sounds meh. Oh shit. Motherfucker. That sledgehammer so far is pretty neat. Like honor. Yeah, that's another honor. Yeah, I like the sledgehammer. And back up we go. Don't do it. I told you not to do it. Ah, oh, in front of your god. <laughs> Here's how you can tell this is an Unreal game. Executions from Gears of War, and graphic style slash movement and stuff from Mass Effect. Just, I was about to close up myself just in case somebody was trying to be smart and sneak up behind me. No power figures. Hello. Come on, stupid. Wow, in front of your god. I like that execution better. Ooh, what's this? Pickaxe, eh? I'll take that. Let's see what kind of cool executions we can pull off of that. I guess that's the point of having all these melee weapons. Check out all the different executions. Oh, damn, what the fuck? Well, that kind of looked a bit creepy. Kind of. Of course, of course. Is my health not going to regenerate? Oh, water effects look nice. At least the uh, kind of waves from the uh, drops. Any kind of oh, sick! Oh, this this ought to be good. Ah! What game do I know uh, where you can pull a cheap move like that? Uh, I don't know. Let me check something out real quick. Yep, and the same water uh, ripples and stuff from Mass Effect. This is really how you can tell if this is an Unreal Engine free game or not. I uh, can interact with that, alright. Not that it's bad, I like it. I loved when uh, they were showing the Unreal Engine 3.5 and they introduced uh, interactive water and stuff. I was like, oh, that is so awesome. That's when Gears of War 2 came out. I was like, oh, this is so cool. Still like to see that execution move for the pickaxe. Sadly, uh, the one guy got up too fast. Really, a shotgun already? Is that a shotgun? Looks like a shotgun. Nice. 
So I can carry two weapons after all. No access to that. It's kind of. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I have to equip the weapon to get access to that? There's a an invincible wall now. I ah, oh, there we go. Take it. Can't close. Nah. All right. Let's turn the light off for whatever reason. I thought it'd be good. Looked like the place was just filling up with water. I don't mind the water effects. The water effects kind of look neat. Again, not the best. Definitely outdated compa uh, for this year, but this game came out a while ago, so. Now, I want to lower the water level. What's the point of turning the light on or off? Just something else to interact with? Can't crouch, so there's no way in how I'm gonna sneak up on these guys. There goes that guy's head. There goes that guy's head. And there goes your head. Kind of a shame that you guys die so fast. I want to see this execution move. Oh, it's. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh boy. Pick up the pickaxe. Ah, oh, it just vanished. Apparently, whatever was draining the water drained my pickaxe along with it. See what this monkey wrench will do. Knock knock. Who's there? The monkey wrench. The monkey wrench who? Wham. I see you. Game does realize I have a fl I have a flashlight, right? There you go. Oh no, no. slow down and now. Bam. Damn. Oh, I got a hammer, alright. Let's see what the hammer execution is gonna end up being. Didn't I? Yeah, I can't from there. Never mind. Can't do anything from that. What is that fucking sound? Well, oh, it sounds like it's coming from there. Can't interact with that. I got a crowbar, alright. There's no way in hell I'm supposed to be going back downstairs. Or didn't I come from- Nah, I- I'm 90% sure I came from here. Or not. <laughs> Again, this kind of also reminds me of Mass Effect, if I think about it, each time you board the Normandy. 
Uh Good times. Is that my buddy? Reactor leak detected. Commencing emergency lockdown. Emergency lockdown is in effect. So how do I prepare? Overheat imminent. So obviously going there is not doing shit. Warning. Overheat. I don't even know where I need to go. Ah. It's not doing shit Warning. either. Overheat imminent. Warning. Overheat in course. And this is a Warning. dead end. Overheat imminent. Warning. Overheat imminent. Warning. Shut the fuck up. Warning. Shut the fuck up. Warning. Overheat imminent. I get it. I get it. Dude, fucking walk down. Warning. Overheat imminent. Warning. Overheat imminent. Am I going the right way? Warning. Overheat imminent. All this is a fucking dead end again. Warning. Overheat imminent. Warning. Overheat imminent. Warning. Overheat imminent. My guy gets stuck on the wall too, just like yours of war. This is not where I'm supposed to be heading. Warning. Overheat imminent. Never mind. Warning. Overheat imminent. Well, I wasted too much time. This is a game over. Warning. Overheat imminent. God, stuck in everything, just like Years of War. This is definitely, without a fucking Warning. doubt, an Unreal Overheat Engine free game. Imminent. this works how does this work like the controls are so weird when it comes to these little hacking fucking mini games like i cannot describe how bad it is it's like it just doesn't want it just doesn't work the way you think it should work she even locked or so many yeah. <sighs> no daylight in the shelter yeah 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 skip I mean, at least now we know what to do. Reactor the game doesn't even pop up a mission objective saying, hey, lockdown. do this. Emergency lockdown is in effect. Warning. Overheat imminent. That's really weird, too, is like, when this warning's going off, it sounds like uh, she's warning. just t Overheat telling you that directly imminent. through like a headset or whatever. It doesn't sound like it's an alarm message going around the halls. Warning. Overheat imminent. Hello? 
problem with the reactor. Um... No. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I don't know how this fucking works. This is so weird. Alright, now I now I get it. Alright, now I get it. Even though I think the way this could have been made could have been better. Uh, let's, I'll put it in the red. This interacts with the middle one. Come on. Come on, hurry up. God! I think I almost had it too, but this is fucking annoying, like, getting stuck in everything. Like, if you guys ever played Gears of War 1, or I think you also had this issue in Gears 2, I know you didn't have it in Judgment, and I think you didn't have it in Free, but you get stuck in every little fucking thing. Just like the fucking... Reactor leak detected. Commencing emergency lockdown. Emergency lockdown is in effect. Skip, can I not skip that? I'm so sick and tired of seeing it. See, that's wasting seconds too, having to fucking see that elevator go up. Warning, overheat imminent. I don't like how you have to hold the fucking sprint button and it takes literally like a second and a half, two seconds to fucking activate the sprint. Warning, overheat imminent. Big boom. But no promises, Doctor. There we go. Splendid work, Dr. Tokai. Now, could you please help me get out of this room? It will be my pleasure. In fact, that's why I'm here. Um, come bullshit. So am I heading the right way this time around, or... Yeah, this looks like the right way. Hello. Oh, 
That definitely sounds like a train. Simple enough. I'm not sure if the barrels are explosive or not. I would think they are since, well, you know, red barrels usually mean boom. I'll take this axe. in here, all right. Or if they explode or not. Generator activated. Oh, objective sliders restored the power, so... Am I heading to this door now, or yes, I am. Oh shit, it's coming. Run up. Just keep running upstairs. So where's that button to stop this? Is it here? Come on, douche. It just went right through the fucking guy. The block button sucks in this game real bad. Melee combat's not good either. I've played a lot of games that have way better melee combat. Come on, you really can't jump over that. now this way yep Her Checkpoint activated. What's this? It is imperative to provide the power we need. Is that you, Dr. Tokai? What's going on? What was that noise? Cylinder damage when the chamber is opened. I couldn't make it any faster. Good. Good. There are doors leading to the laboratories on the right side of the room you're in. The scientist should have a code to open the reactor control room. Please. Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Well, this time I managed to get some ammo from it. I don't know why the other machines uh, wouldn't give me any, but whatever. I got some rifle ammo, even though I don't have a rifle on me. No enemy types down here. 
music's playing, so there must be an enemy nearby. Oh! Nice if there was a fucking lock on button in this game. Something strange is going on here. I have to get out and inform the guards that someone unauthorized is strolling about the second sub level. Uh, that lock on button would be really nice for the melee combat. Especially since I try to execute that one guy, but my guy was just swinging right above him because there was another enemy close by, so he was out of kind of lock onto that douche. Hey, anybody there? Hello? Oh, thank God! The laboratory emergency block locked the door and trapped us inside. Great. Every door that actually leads somewhere is sealed shut. PDA won't open it. There's a switch which removes the blockade, but the problem is that only an authorized person can open the lock itself, and only if the lockdown is inactive. You have to find Professor Tomaszewski, fix the ventilation system, and bring him back here. He's locked in the reactor control room. He can't get out because someone has changed all the access codes. Every control room has an emergency code. Piotr, do you remember it? Sure. It's 2485. Right, hang on. I'll open everything and find him. 2485, alright. Damn, there must be someone responsible for this mess. I mean, lunatics running wild, sudden lockdowns, all those malfunctions. It just can't be a coincidence. Way too many accidents at one time. Too many unknown factors. It's not a simple psychological problem, that's for sure. Oh, good God. I'm so glad you're back, Dr. Tokai. Professor Tomaszewski, I need you to open the first laboratory. There are scientists there, and... No, the area is still contaminated. Could you possibly help me reach the technical station and activate the ventilation system? Otherwise, no one will be able to move around without a gas mask. I should have a spare mask somewhere. Thank you, Albert. God, let this nightmare be over already. Oh, he just magically wore his mask. We didn't even notice the contamination. It was so well applied to the ventilation system that we took it for just a minor installation defect. There were some problems with the communication for several hours, but it was just a nuisance. Nothing big. Then people started acting strange. It was only managed to report to the colonel before all the cotton channels went down. Oh, uh, I don't think I go down yet. There you go, up ahead. <laughs> Douchebag. Oh yeah, I do like the level design. 